Hi, I'm Dr. Shilpa. Uh, so today we'll be discussing about the first stage of labor. So as uh, we all know and we have seen that labor is one of the most uh, toughest uh, journey in any woman's uh, life. Uh, today we will uh, just break it into few parts where we can understand what a woman will go through and what happens in the body during these stages of labor. So let's talk about the first stage of labor. So first stage of labor, as I told you, it is the dilatation phase. So the cervix uh, uh, is the mouth of the uterus and uh, this is usually closed when uh, the baby is inside the uterus and the cervical opening or what we call it as there will be two things one is the effacement and the second thing is the dilatation so effacement is that usually the cervix will be around 2.5 centimeters in length and once the labor approaches once uh, the uh, the patient uh, becomes uh, more than like 37 weeks then uh, the uh, cervix will start shortening so this uh, shortening or reducing the length of the cervix is called effacement and the second thing which happens subsequently is the opening or the dilatation of the cervix which happens as a gradual process so in the first stage the main thing is this effacement and uh, the dilatation and in a uh, first time pregnant that is in a primary it can happen sequentially that first the effacement will happen and then the dilatation in a patient who has delivered before what we call it as multi these two things can happen simultaneously so when the effacement and dilatation starts so the woman may not be aware of it it can uh, start happening uh, inside the body once the process of labor sets in so nobody knows what triggers labor nobody can predict uh, when the woman will go into labor and this is very important for us to understand and be prepared to go to uh, a hospital whenever there are symptoms of labor so once the patient is in labor so the first stage what we call here it is again divided into latent phase and active phase so latent phase is something which happens gradually it can extend up to like 14 hours and here the dilatation that is from closed cervix when the dilatation is about three centimeters that is the latent phase so this may take uh, even like you know up till 14 hours and the patient may be having strong contractions or mild contractions during uh, this time there may be water discharge or there, don't, there may not be water discharge during this time there may be mucus or uh, there may be a slight bleeding with mucus when this happens associated with uh, uterine contractions so coming to the active phase which is the most uh, crucial phase where there will be strong contractions where the baby's uh, head will be coming down and uh, also there will be more and more dilatation from 3 centimeters to 10 centimeters 10 centimeters because the baby's uh, the head diameter is about 9.2 to 9.5 centimeters and it will be able to come out through the cervix only when the dilatation is about 10 centimeters so this whole uh, active phase will take about like say 6 to 12 hours and this we start tracking on a chart called as a partogram to assess what is the rate at which the cervical dilatation happens and it is important to know that uh, during this phase the woman will be observed in a labor ward and there could be a water leak which can be either clear like her or it could be with slight uh, meconium which is the baby's uh, motion uh, so during this time there are a couple of things which we need to monitor one is uh, the baby's uh, heartbeat uh, the second thing is the rate of dilatation like we do an internal examination every four hours to check as to what is the dilatation or how much the cervix uh, is dilated and uh, third thing is like how much the baby's head has come down so again we call this as station so baby's head will, will gradually come down from the abdomen into the uh, vagina in and out only when there is uh, good uterine contractions and when there is proper cervical dilatation. So all this happens uh, parallelly and once the patient reaches 10 centimeters of uh, dilatation, that is the end of the uh, say like the dilatation part and the descent happens. So the descent is the baby's head coming through the uh, vagina into the perineum what we call perineum is the outside of the maternal external uh, uh, genitalia. So the next step would be the delivery of the baby, which is called the second stage. So I hope this is uh, useful. Uh, we will discuss about the second stage in our uh, next video. Thank you.